familiar with him. Um, I played Do I played Doctor Burn once. Beat him with Bowser. Yeah. Oh, good job. <laughs> Pre the a Bowser bombed him. The old Bowser without the grab. No, new Bowser. Okay, new with Bowser. With the grab. Okay, cool. But I Bowser bombed him. Good job. <laughs> But enough about me versus Dr. Burn. Let's talk about Anigo versus Dr. Burn. So we're probably going to have Marth versus Falco. A classic matchup in Smash, but not so much really not this good one. in this game. Yeah, not this one. Um, I mean, you saw a lot of Falco, Marth, and Brawl, a lot of Falco, Marth, and Melee, but in this game, you really don't see it much. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this one works. Um, I think in this matchup, in this game, um, Falco definitely suffers a lot more just because Marth's range and frame data just... You know, pretty much just beats him out in every way. He just his ability to control space is just ridiculously good. Yep, and Falco, being uh, heavily neutered since the brawl days. Uh, he, very true. Yep. Dark okay. pit. Okay, we're gonna see I the dark pit. I forgot he had a pit. All right, I he's forgot he had a pit. Um, it's an upgrade, not a huge one, but an upgrade. It's better than Falco. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I used to play. I used to play a little bit Dark Pit, but then I thought, why am I playing this character? I have to work so hard to get little bits of damage. At least you don't have to work as hard as Falco. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> That's the thing. It's just like you're trading off one evil for another evil. So yeah. it's just like, yeah, with Falco Number you can't six. do certain things, but with Dark Pit, Nyx? he has a very solid neutral, oh, very solid kill play. confirms, very solid everything. It's just you're working. He's too honest. I mean, of course, you have Electroshock Arm, which kills really stupid Oh, my God. That, 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 uh, that move is actually kind of dumb. Um, so, I mean, that's really the only real difference between Pit and Dark Pit besides yeah. arrows. But, like, fundamentally, that's really the only difference. And they play very similarly. So, this is actually going to be really interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Both have very good disjoints. Both one, can control space. So One of the best things to do with Dark Pit is before, when you're just trying to build up damage, if you are trying to punish their ledge get-ups, if you just keep going for grabs, and they, if they neutral get-up and you keep going for grabs, that'll condition them into the spot dodge, and then next time when you want to kill them, if you neutral beat, if you do the side B, oh, so then good. and they'll spot dodge, and then uh, they'll basically just be dead. Okay, and just... Throwing out a couple smashes. Yep, and we are on battlefield, so... Anigo, probably... Definitely one of the best Marths in Georgia. I might give it a Harlock now because I think he's picked up Marth. I think he might be the best one. Um, correct. I would I would put it like Harlock, then Anigo and Umbi tied for second. Yeah. Both of their very solid players. Absolutely. That's super armor going to definitely negate that Nair there. Yeah, but the thing about the Electroshock, I don't really agree with using it unless you're looking for a kill. Because if you hit them with it when you're not looking for the kill, then they have it in mind, and that mix-up is basically gone, and you won't be able to use it to get a stock. Good back air right there. Um, if you saw earlier, the counter actually hit him like almost like half a character length away. Wow. This was really interesting. And you have to play Okay, that was a really good tech up that up smash. And right now, we kind of have Dr. Burn just shooting for the stars with these up smashes and smash attacks. Gets one to hit right there. But. Oh, wow, okay. He could have just ran up and grabbed him. He didn't sweet spot the ledge at first. Right. Good, good throw there. I think he could have maybe gotten a forward smash. If he actually would have ran off and did uh, down B there, that actually would have stuffed Marth's uh, up B. That's, yeah, that's good. I forgot about that. Because he didn't have a jump, he would not have been able yeah. to make it back there. Good forward smash from Dr. He, Burn. Did you see he countered, he countered it? countered the first hit, and yeah. then just got hit by the second one. Yeah. I've never seen that. I guess he was too. I guess Dr. Burn was too far away for the counter to reach. It seems so. Hitting him before the super armor came out on that move. Very solid play by Anigo right now. Good catch. Up. Only doing two damage, though. Good. I don't know if that was SDI or just bad luck. Gangsy Blake not going to take it because Battlefield is a very large stage. Actually not getting punished for that down B. Very <laughs> surprised. I guess uh, Anigo just wasn't expecting such a such a strange option in that situation. I mean, that wasn't a bad option. It was just like... It definitely wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. But lives, he lives, and he's starting to kind of make a comeback right now at 37%. If you can tack 30 or 40% and get him next to the ledge and get the Electroshock read. I mean, even a F smash or down smash at this point. Down, s okay. He can make it back. Oh, nope. no. If he would have upbeat immediately, he could have made it back. Yeah, but I think he, had, he thought he had more jumps than he did, and he kept trying to jump, and he ran out and just fell to his death. Unfortunate for Dr. Burn right there. Right there, but kind of unfortunate. Kind of needs to work on his tech game because he it was looking extra 
extra week in that game right there. Well, what do you think Dr. Byrne can capitalize on next game? Um, he just really needs to actually... Okay, we see Ike. I mean, he didn't do too terribly with Pit, so I'm surprised that he's switching. No, his problem was that he kept... He was just kind of... His neutral was kind of, at some point, just throwing out right. smash attacks. What you want to do with Pit and Dark Pit, you just want to dash in and out and Similar look... Similar to Falcon, almost. Yeah, look at, and look for your opportunities to get grabs, just dash in and out. And if they do something stupid, you're there, right in there with a dash attack or Correct. grab. Spacing fair and fair isn't bad in that matchup either. Especially full hop down air can sometimes lead into stuff as well. Right. I feel like he just needs to play around Mars' range a bit more and try and find the openings in Inigo's uh, neutral. To try and capitalize off of that. And, okay. Goes for the, okay. Good dash attack, catching his jump. Okay. And that Dolphin Slash is just doing so much work. Okay, wow. Good punish right there by Dr. Burn. And Ego stopping the Dancing Blade preemptively. Are we going to see an edge guard? Okay, and the super armor. Good stuff. <laughs> it eats right through that. Yep. Up smash catching the first. Catching his fair, actually. Interesting. That's interesting. Ooh. Okay. Say goodbye to that shield. And it's not tech again. Say goodbye to the stock. <laughs> Uh, kind of swinging a little wildly there, and you go. I might need to calm down just a bit. I think he's just looking to end this right now. Move on to the next round. All right. Uh, well, I do respect that. You still need to respect your opponent enough to actually play neutral versus them. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Which I feel like he's kind of thrown against the wind just a bit. Not good. Nair from the ledge. Fair. Fair. Oh, fair. No. Is this it? Oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He tried to go for I the disrespect. Go, why? Oh my goodness. This man with all the disrespect trying wow. to go for it. And Nigo is going to take a 